back to my channel. I'm Christine. Welcome back to Vlogtober day 29. For today's video, you guys are going to be shopping with me at Flying Tiger. My aunt told me about this place. We're actually standing right next to it. It's supposedly like kind of similar to a Daiso. Um, very affordable products. Products you can find inside Flying Tiger are from Denmark. Never been here before. Let's go check it out and see what we can find. Tumblers, Halloween decor, a pen, looks like a cactus, $3. Calendars, $3 for one piece. More Halloween items. Artificial lashes that look like spider webs, $3. Big selection of unicorn items. I guess their prices range from like $3 and right now I'm seeing a neon lamp, which is $12. I like this. On a coffee break. What does this one say? Desk Diva. I like the mug. That is cute, $3. That is cute, it's a cactus. $5, this is adorable. Flower pot cactus, $4. Notebooks. I like this one. The pink notebook cover. Sticky memos. And then lots of different notebooks. Notepad. Lovely biscuits. That's cute. Looks like chocolate. Two dollars. It's adorable. It even has like a bite mark on the side. I love chocolate. This could actually be um, a brush holder, right? I love milkshake. Pencil pouch. And it looks like a milk carton. Look at their pens. Pen holder in grass. Very cute. All of their pens. $3 for each one. Mailboxes says spam. Inbox. And then we have outbox. $5. We have an umbrella pen, $2. Stapler that looks like a pencil. Welcome to my desk in Kingdom. I thought it was a mat. You know the mats that you put on the floor for the chairs, but it's not. It's for your desk. $3. Tape for $3. They have clay, pro clay for $2. Coloring books too with pens, ranging from three to four dollars. I guess it just really depends. The stamp set, approved, rejected, top secret, for three dollars. Squeeze avocado for two dollars. Jar with a turtle, that's cute. I have something similar to this at home. Accessory organizer, how cute, it's pink. It has a mirror. Let's see, oops. Isn't that cute? How much is that? Six dollars. It's a neck roller. How much is this? Three dollars. The mom kind of likes it. Oh, that's cute. That feels nice. Light box. It is rather large, but it's fifteen dollars. The most expensive item I've seen so far. Never mind. Twenty dollars for this. This reminds me of Lightbrite. How many of you guys remember Lightbrite? Peg board with light. No games. Have some Christmas stuff out already. What about these? Little ornaments, they have hearts. They also have some travel items, luggage tags. This is cute. I'm for lovers of toilet paper seat covers. Some accessories for the phone iPad. I wanted to share with you really quickly what I ended up purchasing from Flying Tiger. Just keep in mind though that we're traveling. I packed a lot of things for layering. It is cold and today it's raining here in New York. So I'm, I'm glad I overpacked because layering is definitely key here. There were more items I wanted to pick up but I was thinking where am I going to put it in the luggage and I didn't want it to end up breaking even if I hand carried it. Today's grand total was $14.21 which really isn't bad at all. The first thing I ended up purchasing is the neck massager. I mean it was $3 super super inexpensive and basically what you do is you just put it behind your neck and you just squeeze right behind your neck and it feels so 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 nice holder smartphone stand it's glitter 
I thought it was so adorable to put your cell phone. That's something I didn't bring. I have something that I purchased from Amazon, but it's a little bit bulky, a little glitter shoe. $4, I thought it was so cute. Last item, $6, but I thought it was so adorable. A keyboard brush, which is something you could definitely utilize. A small little stapler, some staples, little hole puncher. This one that says enter, I, bet, I guess it's just like a button. So that's everything I ended up purchasing from Flying Tiger. I thought it was a really unique store. Definitely check it out. It's in between like a Daiso, Five Below, that type of thing where some of the prices can range from a dollar up to the maximum of $20 but it's definitely worth checking out if you are here in New York. If you guys enjoyed today's video and found it helpful, please make sure you smash that like button as well as don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification, turn on those post notifications to be notified of new videos. Tomorrow's Vlogtober video will be a continuation of the vlogs while we're here in New York. So make sure you guys come back tomorrow for Vlogtober Day 29. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogtober Day 29. Mwah.